Hey all, my name is Paul Borowski and I am the owner of Quality Business Plan. And what I'd like to do today is introduce you all to my Walmart financial report for 2021 by myself, Paul Borowski, MBA. And so the purpose of this video is to kind of give you all a behind the scenes view of how or the information that I used when I wrote the Walmart financial report for 2021. So specifically, we're gonna kind of take a look at the financial model that I used. Um, and the way the process kind of worked is I went ahead and I did some research into Walmart's 10Ks for the last five years. I extrapolated information from the income statement and the balance sheet, plugged it into the financial model that I'm gonna show you. And then from there, I went ahead and analyzed various line items in the financial in the financial model, and I also analyzed a lot of the financial ratios as well. So please keep in mind the financial report. The financial report consists of excerpts from the financial model, but it does not include the Excel file. I, I do not give. I do not sell the Excel file that I use to calculate the financial ratios and such, but I do take information from that financial model, plug it into the report and discuss it. All right, so without further ado, let's go ahead and sneak a peek at this um, financial model that I'm talking about. All right, so here it is. This, and so this is the starting point from my financial report. What I'll do is I'll go out and like I said, I'll research Walmart's financial statements for the last five years from 17 to 21. And then what I'll do is I'll summarize that information into my um, financial model that I've constructed over the years. And it's gonna range from financial, um, from revenues all the way down to net income. Once I'm done with that, I then break out the different important um, line items within the income statement or the balance sheet. And I would give you all a brief analysis. So for example, for revenues for Walmart in 2017, they started at 485 billion. And over the next several years, it has continuously grown um, by approximately 3.6% annually, ending 2021 at $559 billion. So the impressive thing about this right here, there's many impressive aspects about the uh, revenue growth, but the most impressive is that the organization was able to continuously grow their revenues over a five-year time span. That is a Herculean feat for any organization, especially a multi -nor org multinational organization such as Walmart. Once I, was, once I completed going through the income statement and analyzing the important aspects of it, I then went over to the balance sheet and I played the same game. I went ahead and pulled some information from Walmart's balance sheet, summarized the information into my model, my financial model here, and then I broke out that information and I was able to then analyze the important line items from Walmart, such as uh, cash, and then I would also compare the information with various aspects of the balance sheet or the income statement um, and an example of this would be with sales so an example of my cash analysis for walmart would be that the organization started or ended 2017 with 6.8 billion dollars in the bank in the next three years they moderately increased their cash position however in the last two years the organization has substantially increased their cash position ending 2021 at 17.7 .7 billion dollars and when an organization is more than doubling their cash position, that's going to tell us f f traditionally that A, the organization has very little places to invest their funds, and B, they're not doing a very good job managing their cash because a lot of those funds should be kicked into short-term investments, which Walmart does not do. However, in the last year, 2021, 2020, it has not been typical because of the COVID-19. A lot of organizations, a lot of multinational organiz multinational organizations have been hoarding cash because of the unknown effects of the pandemic. So that would be a typical analysis of a line item. I don't go through every line item in the balance sheet, but I hit, you know, seven or eight different um, important aspects of it. <clears throat> the next thing that I did is I went ahead and calculated 15 to 20 different financial ratios for the last five years using the information that I gathered for the income statement and the balance sheet. I then selected 10 or 12 different financial ratios and I gave you all a brief analysis of those ratios. 
So an example of that would be here is the liquidity ratios I calculated, the asset ratios I calculated, the profitability ratios I calculated, long-term debt ratios that I calculated. <clears throat> and then I went ahead and I broke out each one, each one of those ratio and I give you a, a more in-depth analysis. Um, for example, the current ratio here is the formula current ratio um, current asset divided by current liabilities and then here is the current ratio for the last five years for some of the ratios i then also gave you a brief uh, a brief description as to what that ratio meant in in relations to walmart an example of this would be for the current ratio walmart ended 2017 with a 0.86 current ratio the gold standard for the current ratio is 1.0 that tells us that the organization has enough current assets to cover their current liabilities however an important trend in the industry especially for organizations that continuously receive cash on a daily basis like walmart with their stores people going in buying with cash and walmart has a continuous influx of cash these types of organizations are able to do a good job with maintaining solvency at a lower current ratio sometimes between you know 0.7 or 0.8 current ratio <clears throat> walmart was able to do that in 17 and 18 even in 18 they dropped the 0.76 which is pretty good 19 and 20 they maintained the 0.79 to 0.8 again a little bit lower than the current the current assets a little bit lower than the current liabilities however influx of cash organization should be fine um, solvency wise however walmart did respond to the economic environment they bumped up their current assets to better to be better in line with their current liabilities thus a current ratio of 0.97 now investors should expect that when things go back to normal then what's going to happen is walmart's going to uh, um, bring back their current ratio probably more in line with a 0.76 to 0.80 current ratio all right, so hopefully this little insight to my financial model that I used when I wrote the financial report, Walmart financial report was 2021 was helpful. And if y'all like what you see, then you'll hopefully you'll definitely love um, the financial report. And if you would like to pick on um, purchase the financial report, all you have to do is go to qualitybusinessplan.com forward slash Walmart. And <clears throat> excuse me. And on this website, I do give you all some more um, tips and tricks and, and insights into the financial statements and financial ratios for Walmart from 2017 to 2021. And I also give you all the opportunity to purchase the Walmart financial report for 2021. So hopefully this information was helpful. If you liked it, uh, please give me a thumbs up on YouTube. And as always, have a fantastic day. Thank you.